Hello there all my lovely jewelry makers, I'm Christina of CSL Designs and in this video I'm going to be opening up another dollar bead box so let's just jump right into it so I've got my scissors just getting through the tape here and then I'm going to just get everything out first or rather I'm going to start with the bag because they are separate so let's have a little look at this immediate thoughts is quite interesting and pretty summary I would say so again usual I'm just gonna separate because you get two different sizes here so I'm gonna start with the three millimeter ones very tiny beads and then you got four millimeter size as well and you can kind of see the colors a bit better so what I'm also going to do is just get a little bit closer so we can actually see it properly so I'm just going to start from the top here because I'm starting with the three millimeter ones they're the ones I picked up first as well so we've got medium sapphire as the first color I'm guessing that's got to be these so you got lovely sparkly because they're faceted and yes they're still all faceted as well so sapphire is always a really lovely blue, blue colour I think so it's not completely opaque, it's got some clearness to it and a lovely sparkle because of that faceting when you move it in the light that's the first one, then we got a matte teal so a teal colour but in matte, so that's interesting because usually most teals that I've seen are just your typical non-matte ones I always love teal colour, it's very beautiful and it goes lovely with a lot of other colors as well and then we have emerald green which is this and it looks very bright that's definitely a proper emerald green a lovely sparkle as well and then we have the topaz so this kind of more brownie golden color and again lovely sparkle then moving on to the four millimeter strands let's get them in frame first we have a matte teal again so that looks like you kind of get the two different sizes in matte teal so they match which is brilliant if you want to use them together because sometimes having the same bead and the same colour but in just two different sizes is really useful for certain designs and certain things you want to make so you can see them match perfectly so it's just obviously a bigger size that is really nice actually it's a beautiful colour and like I said it's very unusual in matte it gives it a very different feel than if it was just your usual sparkly ones very interesting it's a very nice colour, that's probably one of the favourites in this so far. And then we have Crystal Honey AB, which I'm guessing is the next one up here. And it's a very sp even more sparkly because it's got a slight AB coating as well, which is obviously in the description too. This is really sparkles and because it's partly clear but then partly got that honey colour or tone to it as well. It's definitely very interesting. And then we have matte dark cyan which is this one must be. I was picking up the wrong one. That is very beautiful that I've it's kind of almost just like a darker version of the teal and they go really well together. Also matte which obviously even more reason they go well together and then you also got the smaller ones, that is very beautiful I really do love the teals but that's a very nice colour as well it really stands out, I think it's overall when I just kind of poured them out it was kind of the one that jumped at me the most because it's dark but it's not so dark that it kind of disappears the colour you still have, it's still at the same time bright which is odd but it is that's nice, I like that and then the final one, the tangerine so obviously the kind of yellow one pretty bright and also sparkly very a sun colour I would say that's why I think some of these together combined when you lay them like this it's just quite summery but a bit kind of late summer which was pretty perfect for the time because some of these, the, the yellow, the green and then some of the blues together it just gives me in my opinion quite a summery feel late summer so that is the bag 
very interesting colours there. That I definitely like some of those teals and blues, that's for sure. They're very unusual colours, but especially with them being mattes. And they will go with each other, but also many other things as well. So that was the bag. Let's then jump straight into having a look at the box. So I'm just bringing that straight back in here. We have the usual paperwork that tells you a bit about the box and then also the content. So I'm just going to keep that handy. Grab the tissue paper and then just kind of get rid of the box here. And then I'm also just going to pull all these out like usual because paper is a bit noisy. And then I'm going to separate out all the bags here, trying not to look too much at them. And then, hmm, okay. Oh, there's another bag. I am going to just leave the strands for now and look at them first. Because also, if you can see on the paper, that's how it's separated out and organized. So, let's have a look. So that's looking quite interesting here. I'm liking the color combination. Again, let's just zoom in a little bit, just so we can get a proper look here. So let's start from the top. First of all, we have four millimeter check glass pearls in coral. So I'm guessing that's gotta be these here. And you can definitely see that pearl finish. So you got that kind of basic coral color and then with that pearlescent finish. I'm not entirely sure it shows up as much on camera as it does in real life. It definitely has a very beautiful pearl finish to it. So that's the first one. Then we have one by two millimeters, so tiny beads, Chinese crystal roundels, opaque red. So obviously red, oh, it's, it's gotta be these and approximately 120 pieces, which is obviously because they're so small. It's a pretty decent length strand. And even though they're so small, I'm always kind of amazed at how they still manage to facet them and get this much sparkle into them. Whether it's Chinese crystals or other beads like that or gemstones, when they can first of all shape them this small, but then at the same time put a hole in it and also facet it. I, I'm just pretty amazed with what they can do. Because the facets just add an unbelievable sparkle considering how small the beads are. It's a beautiful color, I definitely like them. They always come handy. I love working with small beads. Then we have six millimeter check glass drock beads. That's peridot, which means green ones. So again, they're perfectly round, basically. Nice size. I love six millimeter rounds as well. They're very kind of good in between size because I use four millimeter and eight millimeter probably the most, but six millimeter is a really good in between one. Very nice, quite delicate because it's not an opaque green and it's not too bright, but so it's, it's a little bit muted but in a nice way. And then, same six millimeter, but this is then light amethyst, same principle, perfectly round again, not completely opaque, so pretty muted but in a nice kind of delicate way. And I'm also thinking the two together. They definitely work, but green and purple, I find just, they go really well together in general. I love green and purple together. Then the last strand, it's obviously gotta be the pretty bright one as well. So that's six by eight millimeter, check glass twisted rondelle. So it's not just your typical rondelle shape by the looks of it. It's a rondelle, but it's then kind of got a twist to the shape. So it's a bit different. And you get it either amber or blue zircon, so it's either one or the other color. And this is obviously the blue, which is absolutely beautiful. Very bright. I like that color a lot. And a decent length strand as well. So those are all the strands in the box. Let's put them away. And then just move on to all the additional items. Get as much of that in frame as possible. And then I'm gonna kind of just identify one at a time. First of all, we have 32 by 36 inches, not by, 32 to 36 inches. Did I say inches? Yeah. 
of hand dyed Chinese silk cords. So I wasn't mistaken. I thought it was about, does this belong in here? But it does, because I've not seen anything like this in previous boxes from here. So basically it's a hand dyed Chinese silk cord. So either jet or raspberry, and this is obviously the jet because it's black. So I didn't realize, I wasn't sure if it was actually part of it or not, but obviously it is. You get one length, it's, it feels nice. It's very different. I've not worked with something quite like this before. It's definitely a different cord. So it's an okay length to use something, whether you kind of just maybe want to use it as a necklace length and string beads onto it that'll fit. Because actually that's a point. Maybe some of these strands, I wonder what the holes are. Or they might not be big enough. But otherwise, obviously, you can always think of something to do with cord. So that's definitely different. Something new. Then, next we have 12 by 14 millimeter check glass butterflies. I did just catch a brief glimpse of some kind of shape when I was pushing these away, so I'm guessing it's these. Because it, it's kind of similar to something they've had before, but it's just a different shape. I think it's the same kind of thing they've done in elephant shapes, which I think they were really cute. And then now, by the looks of it, we've got butterflies. They are very cute. Blue with a silver wash. Yeah, I like them. And you get two, so obviously you can use them to make whether it's earrings or as a pair in some way. And I'm guessing the hole that goes from the top there down to the bottom. So they are very cute, that's for sure. Same as I really like the elephant beads from previously. And it's the same, same kind of thing and also where you have a base colour and then it's kind of got an overlay of silver or something else to kind of make the pattern and the shape stand out even more. Anyway, next we have 20mm Czech glass vintage style tabula coin kiwi green. Right, so let's see here. You get one. Oh, it's got to be this one. It was hiding underneath, but as soon as I saw it, I think there's no mistaking, is there? The colour. So Czech glass vintage style tabula coin. I don't know what that tabula means. I feel like I've heard it before, read it before, whether it's something like this, but I don't actually know what it means. But obviously a coin shape, a flat coin, and then you got the hole there, which is pretty small by the looks of it. So it's only so much you can get through there, but it's a very <laughs> unusual bead. You kind of got it's not flat or anything, it's not just an effect, it actually is kind of 3D shape. You can feel it, the shape of it. And it's very bright, it's a very standout colour and bead I would say. I would almost say it kind of has to be a focal bead for whatever you use it for. Almost can't help but. <laughs> and then we have a 6mm pewter spacer, antique silver. Right. And it says 8 pieces. Let me see if I can find them. Ah, I think it's got to be these ones here. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, yes. So they are basically little spacer beads. And they are a little bit different because they're not your typical metal spacer bead, I think. The shape and also because they're not just perfectly round, they're a bit more like they're round but then been flattened a bit and the holes are pretty large and nice silver so put it over here, so that's some kind of findings type things, obviously it's still beads but then we have a 4 by 5 millimeter star cut Chinese crystal blue iris and there's 10 pieces. Oh, it's got to be these. Turn them around and saw the blue colour. And that immediately caught my eye, especially the sparkle as well. And just get a couple out. Just to kind of see without getting too many because I'm just going to lose them. Oh, wow, there's definitely sparkle. Kind of got that metallic blue finish. And it's also that unusual shape. Always love that colour and finish on beads, that's for sure. 
can never get enough of that. And then by the looks of it, there is five by seven millimeter, so slightly larger, star cut Chinese crystal iris blue. So basically the same thing, but just slightly larger. Let's see if I can find them. Yeah, there's gotta be these. You can see, same principle, but slightly larger. And you kind of get that very unusual shape because it's almost like it was almost a bit like a bicone or rondelle mixed together, but then it just has two sides cut off. And then you get the hole going through there. So very unusual shape, that's for sure. Next we have a 12 by 21 millimeter tabular rectangle. So we have that word again. Tabular purple goldstone. And what do you have? One piece, one piece, one piece. I think it's this one. Tabular rectangle. I think I've got to look up what that means. So we have the gold stone, which it is beautiful. It's a hand, handmade, a man-made stone. But what it is, is you basically have, it's like a deep color. And then you just, almost like a starry sky. It just sparkles when you move it. Typically you have gold stone. So it's kind of like a brown base and then it's gold flex. But here it's obviously then a, it says purple. It's very, very dark purple, but it's just moving in the light. You get that beautiful flex of just like the midnight sky full of stars. So nice shape. You got the hole going from one side to the other. And next we have 15 by 30 millimeter Brazil Opalite Twisted Tabula again, <laughs> oval one piece so that's got to be this one so twisted tabular oval so it's kind of like an elongated oval shape I would say but then it has kind of this twist to it like you just grabbed either corner you can call it that and then just put a twist into it the hole going down through there and very natural looking almost like it's a stone And then next we have 60mm check glass table cut crystal tiger stripe. One piece. Uh, I wonder if it's this because crystal tiger. So crystal being the base, you can call, not color, but obviously the base bead. And then you got stripes, so obviously the description of the color. That is unusual. So completely clear. And then you see the stripes all the way through. That is definitely interesting. And you got the hole going down through there from one end to the other. So you don't just have stripes on one side or on either side, but you can see the stripes from the other side as well because it's completely clear. And then we have, which was that? That was this. Let me just make sure everything is in frame. The next one is 19 millimeters Rusky wave bead 19 millimeters Swarovski wave bead what do you have two pieces that's got to be this and Swarovski yeah kind of like wave bead that's what made me well recognize them think it was going to be these because of the shape and they are the description of the colors crystal antique pink I would say that's pretty accurate for because obviously crystal because it's not completely opaque but it's not also just a pink. It's definitely, I would say, antique pink. That's a good description. That's interesting. You then got the hole kind of in the middle. But then the two ends go out opposite directions. And kind of a wave shape. That's interesting. And then next we have, that was what? these ones and we have daisy spaces five millimeter ones I saw them before antique brass so basically just some metal spacer beads you could say but well I don't think I need to get them out just I'm just gonna lose them just kind of it's like what is it six 
or seven, possibly seven little balls put together to kind of form a little sh shower, flower, and then made into little metal spacer beads. That's always cute. And where are we? 10 millimeter cone, antique silver plated two pieces. It's got to be these ones. Oh, there's actually two probably just in each other. I thought there was just one. So little cones here. So I would kind of say my first thought with these is bead caps. Because you have hole right there at the top. So obviously a pretty large size bead kind of fit in there. And then that would definitely be an unusual bead cap. But add a bit of interest. So that's different. Then we have second to last Calla Lily Charms silver plated two pieces. So 8 by 14. So that's these ones here. So Calla Lily is always a nice flower. The shape and design of it. And you have then sideways, you have that little loop that you can then use. So just a cute little charm. And you get two of them, and that's the back, nice and plain. So there's something to the back, it's not just flat or anything. And the final bead, well sorry, the final bag, is Chinese glass laser etched round, 8mm, melon pattern. Mm. Two pieces. Uh, I'm guessing the melon pattern is because, kind of the effect here. Ooh, it's purple. Oops, see, I'm gonna lose them round. They're all over the place. So, got that laser etched pattern on them, which is very, obviously the pattern itself is very unusual because it's that kind of melon effect, as they call it, but it's purple, so like metallic purple, which is beautiful. I always love purple. And you got the whole a decent size. And I kind of was just thinking, where did they go? Okay, maybe they're not quite large enough, but those cones, yeah, they would swallow them up, but a bit larger beads than this. Otherwise, use it for something like this, those cones, on kind of one end, and it would really then make that middle part stand out. But like I said, it would just swallow these up. But they are interesting, that's for sure. They definitely stand out. Again, I'll say these stand out in whatever you were to put them in. And you get two of them in decent sized holes. So, that's basically everything that's in there. So that was everything that was in the box and the bag. Quite an interesting mix, I would say. Especially you get that cord, I haven't seen that before. So a bit of an extra material, you could say. So some interesting beads, color combinations in the bag itself, especially those teals and that blue. Some also nice beads and the strands in the box. And some of these additional items as well. Obviously the Swarovski is always interesting, but those butterfly beads, definitely caught my eye. They're really cute. I definitely think they're very beautifully detailed. So I'm planning on trying to make something with them. Obviously we'll have to see how it goes. But if you want to see what I do end up making, hopefully I'll sort something out with all these materials or some of them anyway, then make sure you stay tuned. So I'm now back after playing around with some of the materials and making a couple of pieces. So first of all, I picked out these two strands here because I've had an idea for something I've been wanting to make for a while and I thought these might fit perfectly. So what I ended up doing, this is the kind of rundel type strand, quite large beads, and this is then from the bag. So it's a three millimeter rounds, both blue tones that go well together. What I ended up making was this cross. So you can see I used the small rounds for the outer little loops in the cross and then I used one large bead, just one, for the very center. And I really like how it turned out. I've had this idea for a while, like I said, and I've also now done a tutorial for it, but I just thought I would basically test it out. The first time I made this was with these beads here. So this is the first kind of prototype, you could say, that I did. So I'm quite pleased with how it turned out. And I really think these two blue tones and the beads work really well together as well. Next, I then picked out another strand, and these are also from the bag. And uh, as you can see, it's also blue beads. These are four millimeter ones though. Now what I ended up making with this is again an idea and I've had for a little while. And I thought it'd be perfect to use some of these beads here to try it out and see if it's gonna work. 
So I ended up making this ring. So basically what it is, is little clusters of coils you could say going all the way and then I've kind of separated them out using these beads and I think these beads go really well with the silver wire and it's ended up like this and I've then kind of joined it together on one end there but otherwise it's a complete full circle ring so that's the ring now I made this ring version with these beads now I also thought I wanted to try and make a bracelet version so I ended up using these beads here from the box so they're larger obviously because it is a bracelet than I wanted to make and it's a really nice and delicate colour these so I thought they would go perfectly with silver wire as well so I ended up making a bracelet version so again you can see those clusters of coils separated out by the beads now obviously I haven't made these specifically to match in the colours they could easily go together but you can just use other beads but I just wanted to kind of try these designs out when I had these beads available because I thought it would be perfect just to do that and I just made a clasp kind of incorporated into the bracelet as well so obviously you can easily make these to match as a set so that's what I used these other beads for here nice ring and bracelet set so that's what I made this time around, just a few pieces and it's like I mentioned before I think these kinds of subscription boxes are brilliant as well for experimenting with and trying out new things especially if you're getting things that you haven't worked with before but like I said I've had these ideas for a while and I just thought it'd be perfect to use some of these beads to try out the ideas so I do really enjoy them for that so I hope you like these pieces as well. The tutorial for the cross is already available. It's on my channel if you haven't seen it already. And I'm also going to have tutorials for the bracelet and that ring in the near future as well. So keep an eye out on my channel for that as well. Otherwise, I really hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed the pieces I ended up making. Thank you so much for watching it and I'll see you in the next one.